Hi, and welcome back to the channel on the college process. Once again, my name is Ed Zamora from Principia Prep, and today we're going to be discussing the work-study program, how it works, the benefits, the pluses, the minuses, and everything in between. But before we get started, if you are looking for more college content, please hit the subscription button down below. It will notify you of any new videos coming out, as well as click the like button. It does help our channel. Now, that being said, let's start talking about the work-study program. So what is work-study? Well, it essentially is one of the four parts of financial aid. You have grants and scholarships, the free money you don't have to pay back. Then you have the third part, which is loans, and then the fourth part, which is work-study, which is essentially a job that's provided to your student by attending the college. Now, the federal work program provided by the colleges allows your student to have a part time job on campus, whether they're an undergrad student or a graduate student. Now, you must show financial need to be eligible for the work-study program. It basically it provides you with some money to help out with certain college expenses, educational expenses, essentially, like food, books, etc. Think of this as any other job, any other part-time job to consider. So how do you receive federal work-study funds? Well, to be offered the federal work-study, you first must fill out the FAFSA form and show some sort of financial need. While usually you have to show a financial need to be able to obtain the federal work-study, I have seen students that have gotten the federal work-study without showing much need or any need at all. Now, the first place you're going to be offered the work-study program is on the student's financial aid award letter. Now, even though it's on the award letter, it doesn't mean it comes off the tuition bill as far as the amount you have to pay towards college. Your student must first work towards the work-study funds, then they receive them, then they can elect to use it for either the college expense, i.e. the tuition expense, or for books, transportation, food, etc. It's like any other job. They usually get paid every two weeks. Now, much of the work-study programs, the jobs themselves, will be on campus. You can elect, and some schools do offer this, to work for a nonprofit group outside of the realm of the college and still utilize your federal work-study program. So you don't have to stay on campus. You can work somewhere outside the campus for a nonprofit. Check, obviously, with your Career Development Center to see what jobs are available outside the realm of the college, as well as you can also check with the Career Development Center what work-study jobs are available on campus. Another way to find jobs is also just go from department to department to department, because typically most departments will hire work-study students before anybody else. Now, from my experience, the department that typically hires the most students is usually the athletics department. They do this to help out with events, organizing facilities, sometimes keeping stats, others for basic office help like answering phones, helping with filing, this kind of stuff. You also have other jobs on campus like working for the food court, working for the library. You can also have office jobs for admissions, financial aid, the dean's office, etc. Pretty much every department hires work-study students. So how much can I get paid? That's always a question everyone wants to know. Is it worth it? Do I get a decent amount of funds for this, etc.? Typically, you get offered anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 for the course of the entire academic year. The most I've ever seen in any given year is $4,000 that I've seen the student pre provided in the form of work study availability so you can actually work towards these funds. So 4,000 is kind of like the cap. Now work study is taxable, yes. However, you don't have to pay social security nor do you have to pay Medicare. Now as far as being paid on an hourly basis, typically on the low end for the work study program, you're gonna be paid somewhere around 725, roughly around the minimum wage. But these amounts can also go up to, I've seen as high as $15. So I would assume somewhere between seven, eight, maybe nine dollars is typically the average for a work study program. Now the big thing to consider though, even though you might find a job that's paying you eight or nine dollars over a job that might pay you eleven or twelve dollars, in many cases the criteria that I'm looking for especially from work-study, is not always who pays the most. But typically what I'm looking for if I'm a work-study student is the freedoms of the job and the benefits. So what do I mean by the freedoms of the jobs and or the benefits? Well, one of the benefits that I liked when I was doing uh, work-study when I was a student years and years and years back was I worked for one of the departments that did a lot of events. So I was able to, as part of the events, I was able to either eat the food there or actually take it with me. Now, this might sound silly, and this actually still, does still happen now. Even when I was working at the college for the work-study students that were working for me, the reason the reason this is a big benefit is certain alumni fundraisers, certain big ticket item fundraisers for the university. I've been there where they've served filet mignon, shrimp cocktail, etc., etc. These are not things your students can typically find in the food court, on the food plan they're on. Also, does the university, if you're working, let's say, for the admissions office, does it provide you free shirts, free merchandise, these kind of things that other jobs may not provide? Now, on top of maybe free food, maybe free merchandise, free t-shirts, so on and so forth. Another thing to consider when you're looking at the work-study programs is, does it allow me to do my homework or research or papers, where it may be, i.e. the reason I'm there in college, does it let me do these things 
while I'm at work. And yes, this is something to highly consider because let's say you're working in the library and you're just sitting there. Maybe you're checking in a book or two. Maybe you're just sitting there for a while waiting for something to happen. But the library allows you to do your homework where you might have another job that's maybe a little bit more exciting, a little bit more action to it, but you never have any free time to either read or do research online, so on and so forth. When I was working at the different universities I worked at, we had many work study students that worked on our department that were there just to either answer the phone or file stuff. Now, if we had nothing to file, or nobody was calling, we were okay, I myself as well as the, one of the directors, was okay with allowing them to either do the research online, read their textbooks, or in some cases even just write their papers right there on the computers we had in the office. That student was in our office, and I've seen this happen at other offices as well, doing their homework, so in a sense they were being paid to do their homework. So if they're being paid let's say eight or nine dollars but they get to do their homework, rather than being paid ten or eleven dollars but they can't do their homework, they have to do actual work, as a student for a dollar or two extra, I'm probably just gonna go with the lower pay with the availability, the freedom obviously, of being able to do my homework while I'm there. Now the reason this happens often is because the departments don't pay your student. And what I mean by they don't pay your student is there's two budgets in the world of college when you're dealing with a department. You have the department specific budget, like the admissions office has a budget to send out mailers, they have a budget to send out award letters, acceptance letters, so on and so forth. As far as the as far as the work study program, that's a totally different budget. So the Federal work study, basically, i.e. the federal government, is paying the student to work in admissions office, so it's free labor for admissions, which means the admissions office in most cases and other departments as well, is more open with allowing students to do things like study or read textbooks while they're there if there's no other work to be done. So what if you're considering doing a work-study program or an outside job? What would be the differences between the two? Well, right off the bat, obviously, we talked about having to pay Social Security and Medicaid, so you have to pay more taxes. So maybe you're making a little bit more, but you might lose it on the tax side. Another thing to consider, and probably the most important thing to consider that I tell students all the time when they're considering doing an outside job or doing the work-study program, is that depending on the time of the year, let's say you're working for a clothing company or you're working for a restaurant and it's the busy season, let's say it's around Thanksgiving or Christmas or the holidays, that person, that organization itself, is more than likely not gonna allow you to take time off to work on your paper, to study for a test, because it's holiday season, they need you there. Let's take a look at it from the work-study perspective. More than likely, every department, especially within the college, because they all know why you're there, is to study. You're not there to be a work-study professional. So, you can go to them and say, I can't come in this week, or I can't come in next week, or I can't come in tomorrow. You can literally call in the same day you're supposed to come in and say, I have issues, I have to work on a paper, or I have homework to do, or I have a test I need to study for, and they'll automatically say, perfectly fine, come back next week, come back tomorrow, etc. There's no specific you need to show up to work scenario. On the other side, if you have a real job, working for a restaurant, or working for something in the mall, or a clothing shop, or whatever it may be, they're going to expect you to come in. Now that's the big benefit I see from taking on the work study over taking on an outside job. So now that we talked about kind of the ins and outs of how the work study program works, let's talk pros and cons. One of the pros, obviously right at the top, is you're allowed to do your homework, you're allowed to do research, you're allowed to read your textbooks. So technically you're being paid to do your homework at some portion of this job, or some time frame of this job which is a big benefit. Second thing that you should consider on the pro side is, more than likely since you're probably already living on campus or you're going on campus with your commuter to do, to do your class stuff, if your work study program is on campus, which most of them are, there's not much commuting to do. You're right there, it's an easy commute, easy access in and out as far as the work study program is concerned. Also, if you work for a department that provides you with free merchandise, or if you work for a department that has good events where you get to get food, or obviously merchandise as well, once again, this is another big benefit that you're probably not gonna get unless you work for, let's say, a restaurant. Now let's talk the cons. You are gonna be limited as far as the amount of work study program money they are going to provide you. As I mentioned before, the most I've ever seen any student ever get is $4,000 at the top. So they're not going to provide you with a ton of money as far as work studies is concerned. So another unfortunate con is most of the good jobs, the most sought after professions, the most sought after work study programs are usually taken up pretty quickly. So those are going to run out pretty fast. The ones that do the events, the ones that get free merchandise, the ones that allow you to do the homework, that kind of stuff. Those are going to go pretty quickly. Another con, unfortunately, too, is if you're on if you're on break, whether it be winter break, spring break, obviously summer break, uh, between the two different between the, the academic years, there's not going to be work study work available more than likely. So this is more along the lines of like a four month program in the fall and then a four month program in the spring, and that's it. Now that being said, that's the overview of the work study program. Once again, if you do have any questions, any concerns, if you 
need help with any of the process in the college. If you need any help in the college process, please reach out. As you can see on the screen here, we have our contact information, our phone number and email as well. If you're looking for additional help as well, we do have a newsletter. It goes out every month. If you want the newsletter, please just email us with the student's high school, what grade level they're in, because we need to know because each month that we send out the newsletter, it's grade specific. And other than that, my name is Ed Zamora from Principia Prep. Once again, thank you for watching.